This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now, uh, once again, account payable itself is uh, going to be explained. Uh, but in previous session, what we have seen guys, we have seen like configuration part and then creation of vendor master, right? Now, so as I told you, like, let's suppose if you have to post our transactions related to payable. So the most simplest transactions, let's suppose your rent account, debit, and your bank account. Not bank account, vendor account. Whatever vendor we have created, that vendor account is going to be credited, right? So this is your GL master, and this is your vendor master. So now in order to post a transaction, any amount. In order to post this transaction, what is happening guys? First of all, you need to have these two master data supposed to be there. GL master supposed to be there, vendor master supposed to be there. So for GL master, what is happening guys? In order to set up GL master in the sense rent account, or you can say rent GL, uh, we have to do certain configurations. That is called GL account basic settings, and this is already done. And then once we have done this basic settings and all, then you'll be able to create multiple number of GL. Whatever GL you want to set up, you can set up. Now here in account payable, of course, vendor related transactions are taking place. So one side vendor is there, other side GL is there, right? GL master is already set up or else like setting we have already done. So if you require to set up a new GL account also, that can be set up. For vendor account, what we have done, guys, now configurations we have done in the previous session and we have created a vendor master. So now it's time to perform the testing. We'll post an invoice, okay, and we'll see what is happening. So use transaction code FB60 to post the vendor invoice. If you have to post the vendor invoice, guys, you have to use transaction code FB60. I'll just do one thing, guys. I think you know, this is not the right server. I'll have to log in the different server in which like my city is there. Okay, so here. Okay. So use transaction code FP60 and here. So look at here. First of all, you have to check your company code here. Click on company code and let me change here. Okay, so now here, what is your vendor number? If you are able to remember, it's okay. If not, click on this drop down box and then here your company code is saying TM02. It's not TM02, guys. It's, it's like TM00, I guess, right? So company code TM00. Okay, so for this TM00, we have to check which vendor we have created. And that is test vendor, this 11003. Give your invoice date, a particular date is supposed to be given here, right? Amount, any amount can be given here. Okay, so this is for your credit amount. Here, GL account. Let's suppose red GL I'm going to give, and uh, again, same amount that is so rent is going to be debited and vendor is going to be credited automatically. Here, vendor number you need to give, right? What is the difference between invoice date and posting date? As I told you, like there'll be a separate topic for this that is called terms of payment. So, in that topic, it is going to be covered now. So, right now, we just have to. Now look at here guys, now there is an error called company code TM00, the number is 19 is missing. This is a pretty simple error and we can say like, this is very common error in uh, FICO module guys. I have already uh, recorded a tutorial, separate tutorial is there. You can check it on Udemy itself from my profile. So there I have recorded, uh, you know, like uh, multiple, uh, what to say, videos I have recorded. That is like uh, common errors which is taking place in SAP FICO. Okay, so that you can, uh, what do you say, get the access of that. In that, like I have covered several errors 
several uh, errors and even like the recording is keep on continuing because whenever i get any messages or anything from my students and also i simply uh, create a video and I, even i upload over there also so that is going to be very helpful for you guys so that you need not to struggle uh, you know if any error appears if any error is coming then uh, you can watch that video multiple videos are there you'll be getting your solution over there so now here here this company code tm00 the number range 19 is missing so what is the solution for this one guys generally this number range related issue here what is happening the transactions which i'm trying to post that is getting posted against document type kr and if you go to oba7 and click on position kr document type during uh, this server so i've given more explanations in those videos so anyway, uh, here also I'm explaining here. So KR document type, that is vendor invoice is getting posted against KR document type. If you double click on KR document type, the number in somebody has given 19. So, and if you click on number in status against your company code, which number in code we have given guys, 01. So whenever we are trying to post a transaction against this KR document type guys, what is happening? System is going to check in background against KR, which number range? code is there system found 19 but when system is going to search against our company code there is no number range has been given against 19 right here zero one so either you have to create one more code with this 19 or else you can assign this zero one against your document if anything anything can be done anything can be done okay so i'm going to set up a new number range here why i'm setting up a new number range guys because this is uh what do you say online server so here let's suppose i'm going to change it from 19 to 01 again there will be some people who has created number in 19 so these people again they are going to change 01 to 19 so it's like a kind of you know every time you are playing with this number range only 01 to 19 19 to 01 if somebody has created 0 to then again there will be a problem so better to create 19 okay if somebody has assigned 19 then system is going to generate document number from here if somebody has assigned 01 system is going to generate the document number from here but in real time it will not why because in real time once you have set up the number range and all no one is going to change it here in practice server of course everybody are creating their own number range. that is why it is going to be changed now here press enter so now everything is fine if you want to check the accounting entry here, you can click on simulate. Okay, and once you save it, look at here what document number is getting posted. So, of course, document number 2000 was posted in company code TM00. Why 2000, guys? Because number is 19 is there. And against number is 19, what is the range we have given here? That is 2000 to 2999. So, in this range, what is the smallest number? That is 2000. So here, because NR status is zero, number is status is zero. So system is going to check start smallest number, 2000. Next time onwards, what will happen, guys? This 2000 is going to be updated here. So next time, if you post a transaction, system is going to generate a number, 2001. You can click on back button. And once again, click on interval, look at here, 2000 got updated, right? Now, so this is how what is happening, guys. I have posted an invoice worth of let's suppose 1000 rupees. Say for example, uh, generally I have used red seal, right? Red seal. So, say for example, generally what happened? Even we are having a concept of credit memo also. Credit memo means let's suppose we have purchased a goods worth of 1000. Okay. Uh, and then there is a return because might be 30 percent of the uh, you know goods which we are purchased procured is defective so 300 worth of goods are going to be returned right or else if it is 10,000 then 3,000 worth of goods are going to be recorded uh, returned if it is 1 lakh then 30,000 worth of goods are going to be returned so what will happen here guys now invoice worth of thousand and return worth of 300 
so what is the final payment guys to the vendor it is final payment will be only 700 we are supposed to be right so here let's suppose if any return in case of goods it is okay but now i have used red steel right i have used red steel so now what is happening guys in case of red like there is such there is no such kind of return and all but still i'll create a scenario here let's suppose uh, we are paying 700 itself but this month by mistake user uh, vendor had sent an invoice worth of thousand rupees or or whatever your currency is then that so worth of thousand invoice we have received invoice got posted and then further you realized that no it was supposed to be 700 so again what is happening guys account payable help this team is going to contact the vendor okay account payable help this team is going to contact the vendor and will say that your uh, invoice amount whatever you have sent is like more than thousand rupees in this is more it's it's like sorry uh, whatever the amount was there earlier we used to pay 700 only but this time you sent us thousand so kindly clarify now vendor will accept the mistake they will say that we are going to release a different invoices right so in that case what is happening guys either you have to reverse this you have to reverse this invoice and then you have to repost a different invoice or else account payable will team will say that no need to send any what to say new invoice for that what are we going to do you kindly confirm of the on email itself and we are going to post a credit memo worth of 300 rupees in the sense returned you can say okay a credit memo worth of 300 rupees so what will happen guys now this is there in minus symbol and this is there in plus plus symbol so minus and plus 1000 minus and 300 plus so 700 minus will be there it means 700 credit amount will be there and this is supposed to be paid to the vendor in coming future so i will just do one thing let's suppose we are having we have to post a credit memo credit memo is what guys yeah but see if you talk about you forget about the accounting uh things which you have studied in your uh, 12th standard guys throughout the world wherever you have studied it doesn't matter uh but if you talk about the accounting uh, what do you say uh, rules or uh, you know principles and all almost same everywhere right so now here let's suppose so in accounting we are having a concept of debit memo and credit memo right we are having a concept of debit memo and credit memo but here in sap we are having only one thing that is called credit memo so now today onwards you forget about the debit memo whatever it is now you keep in your mind credit memo only now the question is what is this credit memo right so you just credit memo equals to what guys i'll tell you now i said credit memo right so credit memo equals to return credit memo means return now this credit memo could be either vendor credit memo or else customer credit memo credit memo can be posted in the form of vendor credit memo or customer credit memo it means if you have to return certain goods to the vendor it is going to be posted in the form of vendor credit memo and let's suppose tata motor is selling the end product to the customers so even customers also might face the same issues some defective item they have received so they are also going to return the goods or item which whatever it's it is there right so that is that is going to be posted in the form of customer credit memo right so customer credit memo means what guys pretty simple customer credit memo means customer return and vendor credit memo means vendor return in the sense return to vendor and customer credit memo customer returns means return from customer this is how you guys this is pretty simple guys whatever things i'm explaining it doesn't mean that it is going to consist of any accounting concepts or anybody will be able to understand this right whatever i am saying like 1000 worth of invoice got posted 300 worth of credit memo in the sense now out of 1000 we found like 300 i'll just show you here now let's suppose go to fbl1n to check the vendor report so here you can give the vendor 
What is the vendor code, guys? Is it this one? Let me check it. Yes, 1000 worth of negative balance means credit balance, right? It means we have to make payment. So, how much payment, guys? We have to make payment of 1000. 1000, right? Look at here. This is called open. Open means the invoice we have posted, but the payment is not made yet. Now, what you found that invoice was sent, but worth of 1000 is generally it is it is supposed to be of 700 only or is in, in different way let's suppose if if we have procured certain goods then what is happening guys what worth of 1000 goods we have procured but 300 worth of goods is defective so that is going to be returned to the vendor so that 300 supposed to be deducted from here right and 700 we are supposed to make payment so you have to adjust your books of account also in the sense whatever this value is showing in our books of account in register you can say this is the digital register guys right we are maintaining a digital registers so here we have to rectify this one also guys now what to do so we are going to post a credit memo how to post from here also you can post press enter you can give your customer number, sorry vendor number and then here okay now again system is saying number in 17 is basic because for credit memo what is happening guys different document number is going to be used different document uh what is a type is going to be used that is called kg document type so you just do one thing or else you use a different transaction code itself for credit memo we are having fb 65 or else from here also you are having access but i'll just do one thing guys now so number in 17 right so number in 17 means here if for you guys if this error is not appearing you can proceed further so once again f b n 1 i'm going to create number in 17 also okay as i just told you that logic is already explained here just a few minutes back i have explained the logic and even in that tutorial also i have explained uh, the logic in go uh, to say details so here now 17 I'm going to set up a different number range for credit memo right and save it so now now this error will not appear so I've created a new number range press enter yes now everything is fine okay so look at here guys now the moment you selected credit memo here right so now what is happening the document type got changed Earlier it was KR, right now it is KZ. And here earlier debit debit was there. Right now it is showing credit. Okay, so how much? Let's suppose 300. And then GL account, so red GL account itself I'm going to give guys worth of 300 is going to be posted in the form of credit memo. Your system is saying that you have to, so baseline date must be what is the logic behind this base baseline date guys that will be explained once i explain a topic called terms of payment right now need not to just give a standard terms of payment triple zero one right I, as i told you even in previous session also because there will be a separate session on terms of payment so you guys will be able to understand the logic behind the baseline date which was appearing just now right now here simulate so earlier what was there guys earlier the vendor account was credit vendor account got credited this time if you have a look vendor account is getting debited so credit 1000 and debit 300 right so how much credit 700 will be the remaining balance and we have to make payment of that 700 only if you post it look at the impact here if you post it look at the impact okay so now refresh okay look at here 700 is the balance amount which we have to this is minus and this is plus so minus and plus so got adjusted now 700 minus is there guys this is also mathematical calculation itself this 700 we are going to make payment to the vendor okay so now how to make payment guys use transaction code f dash 
use transaction code F dash fifty three. Okay, and here I'm going to post it. So again, look at your KZ document type, guys. So KZ document type again system may throw the error for KZ document type. So what will happen, guys? This time, this time I will check in advance itself. Go to OBA seven transition code and here click on position and give KZ document type. Double click here. Look at here this time 15, right? 15 I have not created. So just assign 0 on itself, guys, and save it because 0 1 I have created. Or else system is going to throw error for this one also. So now I have changed the number in just now. And here account. How much amount is going to be posted, guys? 700. Okay. And what is the vendor number? So vendor number is like 11 3. And if you press enter, look at here. This is account. Account means what, guys? Account means your GL account. So payment is going to be posted. If the payment is going to be posted, it means we are going to make payment to the vendor, and payment is going to be happen uh, from a particular bank. So whatever bank GL is there, that is going to be specified here. And then how much amount? So 700 amount itself is going to be given, right? Your GL account you have to give and payment is going to be done from bank account. So bank GL I have given and bank GL means HDFC bank GL I have assigned here. An amount is 700 rupees, right? Guys, uh, I think I'm having since I'm having code. So the voice is a bit changed. Okay. Uh, now, so don't worry now here. So uh, look at here 700 now press enter. Now, why this cash discount, guys? Cash discount, somebody has made some, what to say, uh, experiment, okay? This discount is coming because of terms of payment. So somebody has made some experiment, guys. Let me check one thing in the terms of payment itself, okay? And this you guys will be able to understand because terms of payment is going to be explained, guys. But there also lots of depth is there, right? Since as a beginner, first of all, you need to understand what is terms of payment at all. And I'm planning to again record a separate tutorial for that one in terms of payment, like multiple different, different kind of terms of payments are there. That is going to be explained separately. Now here this time you go to OB VF projects code. Let me check here. This is what the terms of payment I have used. Oh my God, no. Slash and OB, uh, sorry, XK02. I'll have to check in our vendor master what terms of payment I've given. Okay, trip. Okay, this one, guys. Generally, I was supposed to give this terms of payment. Save it. Okay. Actually, in the previous session, what I did, guys, I was just showing how to make the changes in vendor master, and I showed you like even change log leg log is appearing, right? So because of that, triple zero one was changed and triple zero two came. Now here, so once again, you have to use F-53 and I'll tell you guys, don't look at this cash discount right now, isn't it? Because as I told you, uh, multiple sessions, uh, what is it? Multiple things are there in SAP. Behind each and everything, there is a logic, right? But it is not possible to cover in a few sessions at all. So that's what I'm, uh, what is it? Uh, first of all, I'm going to share all this basics and all so that you guys will be having perfect understanding, right? And then even for each and everything is going to be covered, guys. Don't worry, but one by one, okay? Multiple tutorials are going to be recorded, which is going to be very, very, very uh, beneficial to you guys, okay? So you can check here in my, what to say, profile, like, okay, how many, because like how many videos how many tutorials are there right and even after a certain time you keep on checking because always it is going to be updated certain things which is going to be very useful for you people now here give your vendor account here right oh my god once again the same why once again same guys i have changed it 
triple zero, right? Save it also. And here, here, slash and F test. Just let me check it, guys. Somewhere, some issues. TM double zero. So where it is coming from, right? Okay. Let me check it, guys. Let me check it. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so I just did some research, guys, because meanwhile, I, I thought to pause this video so that the video is not going to be lengthy or is it's going to be quite boring for you people. Right. So the logic was quite simple. Generally, what happens, I'll explain here. So look at here. Earlier it was the terms of payment was triple zero two, right? And in triple zero two, this discount related uh, conditions were there. So from triple zero two, I have changed it to triple zero one, right? So whenever we are going to post a new invoices, then this terms of payment is going to be counted by system. But this invoice, whatever is there that is posted here earlier and terms of payment triple zero two itself is updated so generally we have to change the terms of payment here also if you're going to change it now look at here all the discount is gone okay and then this time if i'm going to use f-53 then it will not appear multiple such kind of you know things will API guys, once you also do the practice, then you know, have to be three. But anyway, this is how you guys are going to be confident, right? If you solve the problems and all, then your confidence levels are going to be increased. Now, here, so again, the same vendor and press enter this time. Look at here, there is no discount now. So, thousand worth of invoice, right. 300 worth of credit memo right so how much system has assigned 700 because this is what the remaining balance and even i have also entered 700 itself right so if you want to see the accounting entry you can click here and simulate okay so look at here guys now your bank account is going to be credited right and vendor account is going to be debited and if you save it, it means post it and come back here. Come back here. Okay. Click on list and click on refresh. If you refresh, that entire open item is gone. Entire open item is gone. And you click on all item or cleared item. Better to click on all item and then click on execute. So here, what is happening, guys? Look at here. Now you can, this is how you can analyze like what is happening here this okay look at here now 1300 and 700 how you'll come to know which one is the invoice which one is credit memo which one is payment easily kr document type is for invoice kz document type is for payment and kz document type for credit memo i am able to remember why because these document types are like such kind of transactions are getting posted on very you know very frequently it is getting posted so even you guys are also going to be very much familiar with such such document type don't worry right or is you can identify from where you can identify from here look at here the document type kz kz means vendor payment ob a7 transaction code here you can go for first of all kz document type okay so here kz document type credit memo kr document type invoice and kz document type is vendor payment Right from here you can get and easily you guys are going to be you guys will be able to remember because if you practice then multiple transactions are getting posted and this is how you'll be able to remember now so what we have done guys now here we have posted the transaction successfully there is one more thing guys here so this is called document posting right in the sense transaction posting invoice posting you can say right here this is called single invoice posting let's suppose if you are having multiple invoice 
then what will happen guys how to post i'll share you again i'll let you know the quite simple uh, what you say easy process is there that i'll explain in the next video so that's all in this video guys that's all in this session